Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. So we're not normally at the chateau, but tonight is the Halloween party and everyone is getting ready and preparing for that. But, um, obviously at the moment we're renovating the convent and not the chateau. Um, but I want to talk about a few interesting things about this chateau. And I don't know if you remember on Thursday I mentioned about the altar space, which we need to find some tiles for, which I think I have some appropriate ones in the basement here somewhere so we can start that organ project as well. But first things first, let's talk about how we heat this building. This chateau has a footprint or a surface of 1,250 square meters. That included the basement, every single floor and the attics. Obviously that's not habitable. It's probably more like 900, something like that. But we heat this chateau with a combination boiler. So this boiler can burn logs, coal, wood chips, or pellet. We have a pellet attachment, but the price of pellet has doubled since we first started using pellet. So we're not using that anymore because it's a waste of money. And at the moment, we are using logs. And that, I think, is a sustainable way of heating the chateau without wasting money because we have a forest on the property and um, we only cut dead or fallen trees. And that is literally a never ending project. Literally every time there is strong wind, a tree falls, or there's always a dead tree to be cut down somewhere, but we never touch the healthy trees. So yeah, originally I think the previous owners were gonna use the chateau with gas. And I think gas is a waste of money, especially since the price of gas has doubled. And yeah, that is just not, a good idea, I don't think. But um, yeah, in the future, we are going to heat the chateau. I think from next year, Gwendolyn wants to have a 22 kilowatt sun tracker solar system installed on the property. And also we're gonna go down the route of heat pumps, which pump pumps warm air into the chateau. So that's gonna be a great way. Also, it should try, it will be less maintenance than running a boiler essentially, but it will, be, it will cost a lot of money to install, but also it will make it more comfortable to live in because at some point, Gwendolyn and I and the boys, we're gonna move out of the house that we're in on the property and move back into the chateau. So yeah, that is the plan. Um, so let's go to the other side of the basement and look for those tiles for the altar space so we can start doing the organ project. So these are acoustic tiles and these are left over from when I did a bathroom upstairs in the chateau probably about three years ago. And they're still made the same way as they were hundreds of years ago. So they have like a concrete base and the top I think it is a pigment mixed with maybe a lime or something like that. And it's poured in these sort of molds and then they press it with a huge hydraulic press I think. And I think they're quite suitable because it's got a lovely old design and that would match the chapel really well. So yeah, I'm just hoping I've got enough left over because I think I've got three boxes and each box is about half a square meter. So probably got a meter and a half. So I'm just hoping there's enough. Otherwise I've got to order something completely different because I, I think trying to find this design again will be quite hard. So yeah. I will take these to the convent, lay them out on the altar piece and see if there is enough. Obviously I'm gonna do that next week because we're at the chateau this weekend, but yeah. Let me know if you think these are appropriate for covering the old altar space. I love them. So 
So this chandelier, I bought about five years ago and I bought it off somebody in Marseille with Gwendolyn. And it's originally from a church. If you can see here, they have little faces of cherubs. And it's an old chandelier. It was never designed to have electric, hence why it currently has candles on it. And um, when I bought it, it was basically in pieces. And I reassembled it, did all the repairs, and yeah, I was just gonna hang it somewhere for decoration rather than lighting. But um, I've got a huge tax bill to pay, so um, the chandelier will have to wait a little bit and we'll use this one temporarily for the kitchen. It's about one meter 20 high, so it's not a small chandelier, it's quite large. And yeah, I think it's quite suitable that it's from a church and now it's gonna be in a convent. So the only thing I've got to do, add electric, give it a bit of a dust off and we'll put it in the kitchen and hopefully it looks really, really nice. So yeah, um, let's go and see what everyone else is up to. Um, maybe we'll go yeah. straight to the kitchen. Workman's entrance. Okay, so we're just yeah. stirring the cauldron, what do you reckon? Uh, reckon yeah. it's, um, it's got alcohol in it. I'm detecting a uh, fruity pineapple, fruity um, taste on the palate. No, a note of fruitiness on the palate. The note is the word. Note on the palate. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I don't want it. No alcohol for me. What? No alcohol. Maybe later. Maybe later. Ryan, Bill, how's the hangover? It's, it's actually really nice. Is it? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely feeling worse for wear, but um, we've got an important thing to do quickly. So I thought we'd pop down the convent and see if these um, tiles that I found in the basement will fit on the altar space. That's the chateau basement. You've brought them from the chateau, yep. haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, I so think that. What's that noise? I can hear footsteps above our head. <laughs> anyway, let's continue with this. We'll investigate later. That uh, sounded weird. That was. It was literally footsteps above our head. <laughs> anyway, anyway, back to the reason we're here. Um, 
So yeah, I've got a meter and a half, well, one meter and a half square. Doesn't really make much sense to me, but um, yeah, we're gonna see if they fit on the altar space. So, um, I mean, we could just measure that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or should we lay some out? We can lay it out next to it, I guess. We'll lay it out on top of it. On top of it? Okay. Just in the middle bit, and then we can see if we've got enough. Because I can always order another box. Yeah. Right, let's do it. Can you still hear that footsteps? That was weird, wasn't it? I thought it? I heard something. Yeah, I'm quite worried. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the door just closed. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Spooky happenings at the convent. Mm. We'll have to have a look later. Just what we needed. Um, yeah, okay, let's crack on. Crack on. <laughs> Getting distracted, aren't we? That's it, mate. Obviously, it's not very no. level, the surface, but if we just lay them out roughly, that's it. You get a rough idea. Well, if that's only four, I think we're going to have on. enough. Yeah? Hang on, that's not the same size. It's a bit weird. Or uh, maybe it's been cut. Yeah, this one's been cut. I can yeah. see that one's been cut. Because I have actually um, used these in a bathroom in the chateau. Right. Are you spooked out? I'm a little bit spooked, yeah, because they were clearly footsteps. We're going to have a look later. We're supposed to be alone. <laughs> well, we might not be. There is a man hanging out by the gate as well, isn't there? Yeah, it's quite... A dodgy looking fellow. Yeah, it's just quite strange today. It is. He didn't come up to us or anything. No. He was walking close to the car. So I jumped in the car just to, in case he was going to car jack us. <laughs> um, which would be, you know, not very nice. Not that that thing happens regularly here in rural France, but you never no. know. No, you're right. Stranger things have happened. Exactly. They're looking amazing. I think they're absolutely fantastic, Ryan. So obviously we want that pattern in the middle. I'm just hoping we've got enough. Mm, I th oh, we might just, just get away with it. So the company, it was called Parquet and Collage. So I'll have to go on the website if I don't have enough. Maybe order a box. Ryan, yeah. should we just go have a quick look before yeah. we finish this? Yeah, we because should. Because you're feeling a little bit. Well, I think it's quite important to investigate when you hear a suspicious noise, especially considering the size of this place. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go. That is looking amazing, by the way. But let's, yeah, let's go and have a quick look. So you thought it was up here, Ryan? I thought it was up here, close to the chapel roof itself. Okay. Heavy footsteps. Very heavy footsteps. <sighs> well, there's no one up here. Should ring the bell? You can ring the bell. The scary one away. Do you want to stand under the bell while it's swinging? No, I don't actually. Hmm. Music to my ears, that's beautiful. Well, sound. they do say that the ringing of the bell. Yeah keeps bad spirits away. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad there's no um, people, no visitors up here. Yeah. You know? After I did a bathroom with them. Oh, a bathroom, how lovely. I didn't I used way too many. I think, Ryan, we've done it. I can't believe it. I believe there's enough. But um, we've got a few off cuts at the chateau still. Yeah, there is a bit of a gap. But I could put in some nice oak parquet Ooh. to shrink it slightly. Definitely. 
do that. But there's definitely enough. So and, and that way there'll be no offcuts as well. I think it will look better with a little oak um, frame around yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Definitely not offcuts. No, no, oak would be better actually. Yeah. 100%. So um, brilliant. Let me know what you think, everyone, in the comment section. Because it is quite a nice pattern, and the colours are quite nice. There's blues, there's greys, there's red. Um, there's like an ochre colour as well, which does sort of match the interior of the chapel. So, yeah, brilliant. So, that's the end of this video, this Sunday special. And um, back at work tomorrow. Yeah. So, thanks for your help, Ryan. Thanks for having me. And I'll see you all tomorrow, everyone.